All right, this one is another one that's borrowed from yoga. It's called Upward Facing Dog, but also in the physiotherapy world, they call it sloppy push-ups. And it's one that I give to all my clients. It's one that I do myself quite a bit. It's fantastic for warming up the back for your back lower back program but also for stretching out the lower back and if your back is very very tight it could be just the right exercise the right amount of exercise for you for your lower back until you get a little bit stronger so sloppy push-ups upper facing dog you can have your legs open a little wider than your hips this will make it a little bit more comfortable through the lower back your hands are placed underneath your shoulders and your elbows are tucked in nice and tight you breathe in and on the breath out, you push your body up. So remember, it's not a push up, it's a sloppy push up. So you're pushing yourself up, you're arching your back, you look straight ahead. Now the little additional thing you wanna do, this is your blind spot in this exercise, is to make sure that your shoulders aren't up around the ears, which it's very hard to keep this under control. So this is your little additional step. You come back down, don't let the elbows come out to the side. Remember, it's not a regular push up. You come down. Breathe in and breathe out. And I check my shoulders. Breathe in and out. Now, for some of you, this could be just a little bit too much for your back. You may not have ex as, um, as much extension as I do. So, that's totally fine. One way around that, so don't be discouraged. What, one way around that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna move your hands from here to here. And you start down and push yourself up. So right away you can see my back does not come up as far. And this may be just perfect for you. This may be the right exercise for you, the right range of motion for you. Everybody's back is different. So be really careful. Don't try and do the full-on advanced variations of these exercises until you've built up to them. So you come down. And still, if that's not far enough forward, I run out of map with my hands, so I have to slide my bottom down. And you come down and like this. So my hands are right the way forward, and this may be right for you. So keep that in mind when you're doing these exercises. Make sure that you're working within your range of motion, particular to your body at this stage right now, and your back will get just that much stronger, that much faster.